Hi honeys, it's Michelle. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my nighttime skincare routine. I thought this would be the perfect video to start off my Facial Friday segments. I just love watching people do their daytime routines, their nighttime routines, get ready with me, get ready with me's. I really love all of those. And so I wanted to show you what I do. And if you have any ideas on anything that you think I could be doing better, let me know. I'm open. <laughs> you have to come in here. I know you're not going to stop me. I'm going to let you in here. <laughs> My cat. So the first thing I do is I get my hair secured. What did you guys do today? I just did a bunch of YouTube videos of recording them. And come on, you want to come up on? Sorry, my cat's <laughs> fun, huh? Okay. <laughs> I did a bunch of recording for YouTube and edited some video. And that pretty much took up my whole day. So then I made dinner, I made stuffing, and then I made ground turkey with gravy. And I poured the ground turkey gravy mix over the stuffing. And then I put a side of cranberry sauce with it. <laughs> it was actually really good. Super easy to make, not very expensive either. So what I do, I get these cotton rounds and I get the up and up oil-free eye makeup remover. This is a dupe for um, Neutrogena's oil-free eye makeup remover, except it's a little bit cheaper and this is Target's brand. The ingredients look the same to me though and I really like it. I put a couple drops on there and I hold it on my eye for a little bit it helps break up the eye makeup before i rub it off i used to use a q-tip and just scrub the heck out of, of my eyelash area and then wipe it off with toilet paper and it never even took anything off and the person that does my facials he said don't do it that way you're gonna hurt your eyes it'll you know make your eyes age faster your under eye area i thought well i don't want to do that so he told me to do it this way and then to just lightly rub it. Look at all that. And then flip it upside down and take the clean side and lightly rub it and get up underneath the eyelashes and it takes it off. Look at that. It took almost all of it off. So much better than the way I used to do it. I'm a huge believer in facials. <laughs> I get two a year now and I have a licensed es licensed esthetician that does them. And I love that because I've learned so much more about my skin that way. And it's just super helpful because I can address all of my concerns. He gets rid of my blackheads for me. I don't have to worry about hurting my skin by doing it myself. Um, and we've actually got it to where he does the exfoliation on my skin. I just do a very mild ex exfoliation like twice a month, but he does the chemical stuff for me. And then I don't have to worry about it because skin is just so tender. I don't want to hurt my skin. My cat is down on the floor watching me in the mirror. <laughs> Okay. So then after we had dinner, I sat down and I've been going through a marathon of that show, You, lately, the one on Netflix. Have you guys seen it? It's so good and creepy, but I love it. Next, I take the original deep cleansing oil. You guys heard of this stuff? It's amazing. 
I will find the link for you. But it's olive oil, camellia oil, and hyaluronic acid. And I, I've tried a couple other oils after I had got this one and I hated them. So this is, this is my stuff here. The brand is Royson or Royce on. I will put a link down in the description box, letting you know where you can get it if you want to try it. But so I just put six sprays of it onto my hands and I rub it in a gentle circular motion everywhere that I had makeup on. And what this does is it breaks up the makeup that you had on, um, sunscreen, dead skin cells, is that other stuff called sebum, all that stuff. It breaks it up for you. My esthetician, he says that you should do this and what, make sure you wash your face every night, whether you're wearing makeup or not, to get all that crud off your face. He said if you don't, it builds up, it gets stuck in your pores, and then that leads to more blackheads, more zits, more skin problems. So I just do this and then I rinse it off. Now you can use hot or cold water and I'm sure um, a lot of skin people would say to use warm water, but I don't. And the reason, sorry, I just don't like having water running down my neck. <laughs> I leave the rest of my face wet, but not that part. The reason is I live in an old apartment and it takes about three minutes for the hot water to actually come out of the faucet and I don't want to waste that much water. Okay. <laughs> I don't really care what kind of face wash I use. To me, it's just on my face for what, 45 seconds. But this is the one that I've been using. It's the Paris Hilton Pro DNA Advanced Skin Care System Dual Action Cleansing Gel. I got this in a Ipsy, was it deluxe box? And I love this stuff. If I could afford it, I would probably use it all the time. But when I looked at the price, I think it was like $25 or $30, which is way out of my budget for face wash. And there's other face washes that you can get that aren't this expensive that work really well. But I do love it. I'm not going to lie to you. This is quality stuff. I'm going to use it all the way down to the last drop. And I will be very sad when I run out. But I'm just happy I got to even try a bottle of it because it's so good. <laughs> It just feels so silky and smooth. Okay. Another important thing I learned is To always use a clean washcloth. I just use a fresh one every night. I know you could probably get away with waiting a couple nights before switching it out, but I just <laughs> kind of a germaphobe. So I use a clean one every night and these are great. I got these at TJ Maxx. I think I got 10 of them for like $7 or something. This is a huge part of my skincare routine, <laughs> not Star Wars. <laughs> well, maybe that too, but a big part of my skincare routine is drinking a lot of water. And when I go to bed at night, I have a glass of water on my nightstand and I drink it all night long. But I always drink about eight ounces of water before I lay down. It's really good for you health-wise too, but I think my skin loves it. <laughs> and with the moisturizing, I kind of, I'm kind of funny this way. I have three different things that I rotate through. And this is just who I am. It's who I've always been. It's how I do it. I, so I, I guess it's working because my skin seems really happy with me doing this. I usually have a sleeping mask 
a nighttime moisturizer and then I also have like a hyaluronic acid or a vitamin C serum or some kind of serum that I use. So right now the ones that I'm using are the, is this CeraVe, CeraVe? We'll say CeraVe, sounds cute. This is the uh, PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. This has ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid, and it's oil-free. So this is what I'm going to use tonight. I always moisturize my ears too. <laughs> That was something my grandma told me. Always moisturize your ears. Have you seen the way old women's ears look? <laughs> my grandma had no wrinkles. Even when she died, she was in her mid-80s. And she just didn't have any wrinkles. She had a little bit of crow's feet right here. But that was it. The most beautiful skin. People always told her how beautiful her skin was. So I have taken her advice as Bible. I've been using this every night. And I obsessed and I'm not going back to anything else. This is the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream. I am not being paid to say this. CeraVe has no idea who I am. Well, I don't think anybody has any idea who I am. Have you seen my follower count? <laughs> but um, I, Dr. Dre had recommended CeraVe and she's recommended both of the products that I just used. My skin just loves them. I thought, well, a dermatologist is saying it's a good idea, so I'll go ahead and give them a try. And I love them. I even bought um, the daytime face lotion for my husband to use, and he's been using this at night too. It's doing wonders for his skin. The other two items that I've been using at night, um, so this, this I used last night. This is the sleeping mask. It's the Double Effect Retinol and Collagen Firming Moisturizing Revitalizing by Glam Fox. I love this stuff and I don't know where to get more. So if you know, tell me. I need to know before I run out. I'm only about halfway through it, but I'm, I've been using it for a couple months and it, it just does wonders for my skin. It just feels so nice and moisturized in the morning. But I found it on a clearance rack at TJ Maxx, so I don't know. If that's why I'm not able to find anything else. I mean, it says it doesn't expire until 2022. But tomorrow I'll be using this. This is the Ordinary Retinol in 0.5 in Squalene Solution. And so I use this every third night. I find if I use this every night, it feels like a little bit too much for my skin. But I really like this brand and I really like the CeraVe and I, there's also something called Clarity that's a vitamin C serum that my esthetician recommended. I'm in love with that stuff too. I've used I think three or four bottles of it now. I'm just waiting to go through some more of my nighttime skin stuff before I buy more of it but I'll put a link to that down in the description box as well because it's really good stuff and it's not very expensive. To me, affordable skincare is where it's at. I mean, especially if you don't have a huge budget for it, but even if you do, why spend all that extra money if you don't have to? The other thing that I do for my skincare, for my nighttime routine, is I always sleep on a clean pillowcase. Once a week, I change out my pillowcase I don't feel like I really need to do it more often than that. I have a antimicrobial pillow that's made out of bamboo, so it doesn't really seem to be as gross as some of the pillows I've had in the past. And then I use pillowcases that are 100% cotton, and I find that works, works really well. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for my nighttime skincare routine. I will be doing a video next week on my morning skincare routine. Have a great night. Bye.